Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and testing out a Elgoo Centuri Carbon. And full disclosure, Elgoo reached out to me and offered to send me this. And they've given me an affiliate link that will be in my bio. So if you'd like to support the channel and are looking to purchase a 3D printer, if you go through that link, I'll earn a commission on that. So what they've sent me is two rolls of gray PLA filament and the Centuri Carbon. So first off, I'm just going to start on unboxing tape. These printers are supposed to be ready to print right out of the box. So there should be very little setup time for me. Comes with the user manual first thing and the guide. Looks like all I have to do is remove some foam, unlock the heated bed, and install a touch screen, and then it just does a self check and I can print. So we'll see how that goes. That looks like the front panel. And here is the printer itself. It is fairly heavy, so I just Moved it down onto the floor to pull this out. It seemed like it had a bit of suction there, so without that, it should come out freely. And it looks like that's all that is in the box. Yeah, this is actually the top cover, and the front is right here. to unpack still so I believe that touch screen will be in this box which looks like it's right here decent sized so yeah PLA a few little tools Couple screwdrivers and three Allen keys. Some scraper blades with a couple screws. Don't know what the screws are for. Showed the grease already. And the glue stick. And a qualification certificate. And a USB. I'm not too sure. This might actually have a slicer program installed on it. I'll have to check that. And yes, uh, I believe that's a tip cleaner. And I don't know what this is for. It's got double sided tape on it and little silicone bristles. And that would be the spool holder. And the spool holder looks like it just pops in on the side and twists in place. And the last thing in this box is just the power cord. But my first impressions are that uh, the build quality all looks really nice. The side panels, those are formed steel. I believe this would be extruded aluminum. There is a bit up here that's plastic, but for the most part, it's all metal construction. And inside here, there's actually a camera where it can, I believe it can record and stream prints as they're going. And right here, there's some tape that covers over a little connector, and that is for the screen to connect to. And installing the touchscreen seems pretty simple. All I should have to do is plug this guy in here and just slot it in place like so. Uh, last step, it looks like I just need to remove a few 
little screws to unlock the heated bed. So for a first time setup, just have a couple screens to go through. Just X key to remove these. I've already done that. Make sure the chamber is free from form objects. Confirm. Side A facing up. So this build plate is double sided. Right now I have B up. I have to flip this over. And start. So it says it might take about half an hour, so I've got a little bit of waiting to do. I've preemptively modeled some scales that I'll be using in a future project. And I've downloaded the slicer off of the USB onto my computer, or installed it anyway. And got them all set up on here, and I'm pretty much ready to print. The USB also included a user manual, some, there the software is the slicer, the models here, there's a few different uh, STL files and stuff and G codes to print. And this is probably a bad idea. But I filled up the build plate with a few of the little accessories that were pre-programmed in the USB. So, I'll print that along with a couple of those blade or handle scales that I had designed. And using the provided glue stick, I have given a good little layer of glue on the build plate to help adhesion. I'll hit print now. And it would have been a lot smarter for me to just do a benchmark first, but... You know, sometimes you just gotta risk it, right? And after nine and a half hours, my print is done. And some of this stuff, like along here, the text is slightly obscured. And that's because I turned on the fuzzy wall setting that gives it a bit of a textured look that uh, kind of hides layer lines, so they're not as obvious. But I'll show you what some of these parts are. So there's a few different things that it came with the models of, like this guy here is just a small model of the 3D printer, but it actually hangs on the back to collect any uh, printer poops, where when the nozzle purges itself, it drops out the back and can catch in this little tray. These also screw onto the printer, and I'll show that in a minute. And these guys, this is a little scraper that a blade attaches on there. Here are the knife scales that I made. So this side will go against the steel handle. They're pretty grippy. So I think this will be a good use for the 3D printer. And here's a scraper put together along with its holder. And there's the mini Centuri Carbon to capture any printer poops. And these guys here are for the top window. Hold on to that when it's not in use. So my overall first impressions of the Centuri Carbon is that it seems like a very easy to use printer. I am very new to 3D printing and this is my first filament printer so for me to be able to just set it up and do a fairly large print with no issues at all i think that's pretty good um, i imagine if i go to any kind of fancier filaments which i'm going to be getting some carbon fiber pla here soon that i'm excited to try I feel like that stuff, I'll definitely do a benchmark before trying, but um, the print quality seems really good. Um, the first prints I did, I could have changed a few settings that I've since looked through in the slicer that could uh, increase the quality of the prints. It's a variable layer height setting that makes it so 
detailed spots will have thinner layers adding to the detail. So stuff like that helps out and it seems like the printer is capable of doing really nice prints. So thanks again to Elegoo for sending out the Centuri Carbon to me and if you're interested in buying a 3D printer or if you already have a 3D printer and you're looking for consumables uh, you can check out Elegoo's website. I have a link in my bio. And thanks again to Elegoo, and thanks for watching.